What's up guys, it's Brian from Beat Turismo and today doing something totally different. And we're going to build this. Yes, it's upside down. But uh, it's time. Time to get swole. So we're gonna put this together. Hopefully um, if there's any sticking points or tough points or whatever, I can share some tips on how to put it together. This is the Gold Gym XR55. I'm gonna unbox it and this is a two part kind of video. I mean, it's gonna be one video, but there's two things to it. Number one, you can see the box. This came FedEx, so of course it looks like it got hit by a truck on the way. But two, I've heard there's some poor instructions. And so uh, we're gonna work through some of that stuff today and hopefully save you some um, headache. Here we go. Cool. <laughs> so. I already started it, but... No. All right. Just gonna open this up now. See if anything's broken. Yeah. Yeah, but I got some, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure. Address. Yeah, I don't think it's on. No, it's over there. Oh. My address is on. Okay. Yeah, in case anyone wants our... <laughs> <laughs> Starter jam. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck getting it out of the house. <laughs> it's like they never even stapled it shut or anything. I believe these yeah. handles in the box are actually for picking up the box. <laughs> Not for picking up the unit, I think. Oh no, they do go to home. Oh okay. man. <laughs> So, that's the inside of the box. Who knows if anything fell out? Well, it doesn't look like it. Well, we won't know. No, we won't know. So we get the whole way through. I don't see that anything is... Uh, well, that's the visual. Dented or bent or The largest here. piece that, you know, we would see right away. Yeah, I think so. And that was... About where it got hit was here, or hit, or... Yeah, about the poles. I don't really see anything with them that would be dented. And that bar's there. Yeah. So, you know, if anything, it might be a, you know, a pack of screws or something that... That's probably that back right there. Uh, that's pretty heavy. With all the hardware. And directions. Holy moly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like any of the stuff's punctured. No. I guess it can't be okay. That's the, I mean, it's squished, but I mean, it's foam, so. Cool. How you feeling about this? Um, oh, uh, well, you know, fine. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of parts. Yes. But, uh, I well, guess we'll we, get it all downstairs now. We've read about eight hour assembly. Mm. You ready for the challenge? I'm ready to get it out of the box and get it into the garage or the basement. Okay. <laughs> ready? Yeah, sure. I'll get that going. Okay, so once you get this stuff out of the box and Downstairs, this is how much space it occupies. And just kind of go over the tools that we need. Um, I forgot the 13 millimeter wrench and socket. I got decided to get a 13 millimeter for the quarter inch drive instead of the 3 8 inch drive because I shouldn't really need to apply that much torque. Don't forget to use a set of Allen drivers. I chose quarter inch again because if you take a look at the Allen wrench, that they include, it's not that big. So I could definitely apply more force with my quarter inch drive than I could with that Allen wrench. That's kind of how I made that decision. Okay, so a point I wanted to make here is, <laughs> this is step number two to put these um, posts on here and to put these fasteners in here. It says in the, in the instructions pretty clearly not to over tighten or not to tighten period at this point. So if you saw there, I did put a tool on it, but it's not tight. Just enough that it'll hold together, not fall apart. 
this is a point where you might want some help, especially if you've got a wine rack <laughs> right next to where you're working. If help's not available, then just be careful because you've got to put these um, cap screws in here from underneath. Okay, so just a little lift. If you notice, those cap screws had like a square boss to the cap side of it, and that's going to fit into a feature on the bottom of this tube steel. So when you insert it, um, make sure you give it a little quarter turn twist until it seats into that um, shape. Next step is to add the big tall piece there onto this and fasten in place. Or actually, according to the instructions, we're not going to. We're not going to tighten it yet, but we're going to just put it in there, on there. Yep, so we've got up to step seven, which is to put all the weights on the back rack there, which we did. Step eight. Now There's, we're going to do step eight. I got the piece for you, as I told you. Okay, yes. so we'll pick it up there. Okay, I have to interrupt this fast motion here because... I made a mistake, and uh, once you get to this point in the instructions, you'll understand why. Maybe number 20 in the instruction, which is said to be this carriage bolt bushing. It has a top and a bottom, and I put this one together correctly and this one together incorrectly. So if you take a look at it, the depression, I guess if you want to call it that, should be facing up so that the carriage bolt can sit down as low as possible into the square cutout that's in this piece of sheet metal. What I meant to say is, just about tea time, so I'm gonna get that done real quick, and then I'm going to jet up, get some tea, and then come back to it. The graphic in this sort of makes it look like you want to put it in here and then I try to attach the seat back, but that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Put the back on first and then... So that's good.
Ta-da. Yes, Just in case it's not really put together right, you can test it first to do the photos. Those are still the day. <clears throat> it shouldn't fall apart. <laughs> <laughs>